And the last news topic is about the Emmys. And uh, Koen, you digged in a bit to it. Yeah, I thought uh, uh, this, 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 the, thi- the thing for me is like I normally check a lot of news for like uh, what for show to watch, what for movie to check out, uh, uh, what to expect for the next year and who's going to play in what role or whatever. And now because of Corona, it's just like uh, for everybody, it's just a bit like everything is different, it's down, it's you don't. A lot of news items that come by and you just forget and then you realize later. So I thought this day like, oh, we shouldn't, we shouldn't forget the Emmys. Uh, they are uh, supposed to be. Uh, uh, they're gonna be on ABC on the 20th of September. Okay. Uh, this is the sec- the 27th. No, sorry, the 72nd. How do you call this in English? Uh, 70 se- 72nd. <laughs> 70. Yeah. yeah, really bad. No, yeah. 72nd. So <laughs> weird. No, I don't know. 77. Oh, so 7-2 and so it's 72nd. Yeah. Yeah, 72nd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, Sorry, yeah, U.S. viewers. <laughs> I think it's very good. 70 seconds. Uh, Emmy Awards. Yeah, so uh, I thought we can dig in a little bit uh, on the, the four main uh, categories. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and, and see what we watched and maybe yeah. do a small prediction uh, uh, before 20 September to think what we would win or what we and what we would like to win maybe. Yeah. So we have like, of course, we have drama series, comedy series, limited series uh, and television movies. And uh, let's start with the uh, the main Emmy, actually. Of course, it's the Outstanding Drama Series. Yeah. Uh, this year nominated are a couple that are pretty obvious. But let's start with a show that I still have never watched, but I heard always good stories about. It's called Killing Eve. Mm-hmm. It's with that uh, actress from uh, Grey's Anatomy. Um, the Handman Made Still, also never saw. I still want to see see that one. Yeah, uh, me too. Um, yeah. The show that we, me and Anna liked a lot, and they just released it when Kavara started the third season, the The Crown, the British series. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my favorite series of all time uh, already, uh, Better Call Saul. Yeah, you talked about has, it before this uh, in this show. Yeah, it's the highest rating of all of them, ninety-seven. Oh my god! Uh, a show that we all three of us like, uh, The Mandalorian. Definitely so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ozark, which I also liked. Uh, Stranger Things, which we all like, I think. Uh, yeah. no? 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 Okay. Uh, and Succession. So you have uh, uh, seven uh, nominations. Sorry, eight. I'm, I'm, I'm counting wrong. So, Better Call Saul, The Crown, The Handmaid's Still, Killing Eve, The Mandalorian, mm-hmm. Ozark, Stranger Things, and Succession. Uh, yeah. Uh, what I, is, I, yeah. I, I only have seen two, so for me it's very difficult to give an opinion about this. Which one I've did se- you see? I've seen The, the Mandalorian I see, and I've seen Stranger Things, but... Oh. Uh, the last season, what Stranger Things is nominated for, I guess. I didn't see because I stopped watching Stranger Things after two seasons. I thought like, okay, it's getting repetitive for me. There's nothing in here here anymore. And I left Stranger Things. I am thinking about returning to it towards the end of the year because the last, the fourth season comes out. Yeah. Uh, so for me, if I would have to pick one, yeah, there can be only one winner. It's and Mandalorian. It's the Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to, I have to say, uh, and I will give a review of this uh, in some other show, but I watched the other week... Uh, I watched uh, The Mandalorian making off. And if I see um, how game-changing the technology is that they use for that show, that's, about, that's, yeah. Th- yeah, that's really mind-blowing. So nice. if, if that would be a factor that they take into account with this tra- uh, category, then then I can see see uh, Mandalorian winning for its uh, groundbreaking uh, te- technology, yeah. at yeah. least. Yeah. I think also that's maybe fair even. like It, it can score some points extra because... Uh, all these shows, if I'm correct, uh, already had several several seasons, uh, so it's not like it's something new. Like I, I've seen uh, Better Call Saul, The Crown, uh, Ozark, Mandalorian, Stranger Things. Uh, so I I saw yeah. five of eight, and for me, uh, I wouldn't give it to Mandalorian, uh, even if I'm a huge fan. But for the main issue for me with that show is that. It's so groundbreaking. Also, like uh, it's a Star Wars story, but they do a lot of different stuff. Yeah. And but they still keep the the the, the vibe of it. But I, I I just got really annoyed that it's so short every episode. Yeah, yeah. Because it's so good. It's also it's impressive. It's like also Greyhound. It's so short, but you want more in a way. Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, with the Greyhound, it wasn't needed the movie, but I think with the show, that's why maybe they just started like this. And I hope they will do different. I think the depth is missing a bit in that show. Yeah. But we will dig into this uh, much, yeah. much yeah. more because we're going to make a, yeah. 
uh, whole Mandalorian pre-show I'm planning on before the nice, next season nice, comes nice. out where we're going to dig into the whole first season we're going to dig yeah. into the making of we're going to give predictions so nice. people uh, if you're into that uh, it will be later on on this channel so continue Koen which of the other shows do you think should we yeah have? so for me uh, uh, um, um, based on the season uh, that is nominated for uh, uh, I didn't see Killing Eve have my soul session but I would go for Better Call Saul because uh, 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 that's a show that I've been waiting, I think it was the fifth season or the fourth, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the fifth season. I waited five seasons, four seasons, to get to the level of where the show is. So it's like this man is famous, Gillian uh, 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 Anderson, I think his name is, the, the, the director also of Breaking Bad, and the, uh, the, the creator. And it takes him a very long time to develop the story, which is in the beginning a bit annoying because... Uh, especially this show came from the other show, so you already know the character that's Saul. Uh, he's, he's like the most uh, sneaky, funny criminal lawyer in the world, and uh, you know him already when he's at the top of his game. And then this show shows you how he got there, which is completely different than what you expect in the beginning. So it was a bit annoying for me, but still, the show was so good that it was worth it, at least, like really, really worth it for sure. But. And now this season, he really is already becoming that man that you know him. Yeah, exactly. It's so okay. good written, yeah, yeah. and it's it's yeah. It, this season for me is the best from from the whole show. So for me, based on the Ozark, the last season is good, but it's the same of, of what it was before. Stranger Things season three is better than season two. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, but not as good as season one. So also, I wouldn't give it the Emmy, and the Crown. Um, that's what Fair. I think it should win. You think yeah. the crown? Why? Why? Why, yeah. uh, why do you think the crown? I, I honestly didn't see the other ones. I saw only the crown and the Mandalorian and, and Stranger uh, Things. Stranger Things. Yeah. So from these three, uh, I think, yeah, the crown. It's why did you it's, like it so much? Is the story and how they the story? Yeah. Of course, it's the story and the, the how, how everything that happens. But it's the um, the actors that I think good. they do such a great job. Like, yeah. especially uh, the actress that plays uh, the queen. Yeah, yeah. she's. That's the, that's the, amazing. Is, is, that, is that the woman really that hard. also won the Oscar for uh, the favorite? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yes, and I think it's super hard because you had the first season with some actors. And you liked it very much. We liked it very much the first and season. And then you get the second show. season with totally different actors. And I really thought I'm not going to like it because you still mm -hmm. think of what happened before yeah, yeah, and the, yeah. the people you knew before. And she did a great job. They all did a great job. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's impressive. Yeah. It's yeah. not easy, not an easy job. Yeah. So, so for, you, for, for you, it's the crown. Kuhn, for yeah. you, it's better call Saul. Shall we move on to the next category? Kuhn? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I was saying the title yeah. of the crown because I think about it now. The acting is that crazy good. That's true. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So this is also okay to you if that would win. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah. Let's see what will happen. Uh, uh, um, it's nice to check his time. We should check back the video to see if we're right yeah. or wrong. Yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, then we have uh, uh, an, uh, one that I saw. I think only one, and I think maybe you guys didn't even see one of them. Um, outstanding comedy <laughs> series. Uh, well, Anna saw one at least. The Kominsky Method, which is a very nice show. With, uh, you saw also? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's with no, the, no, thing? No, no, the Kominsky, Kominsky I didn't see, but I, see, I think I've seen one of this category. Oh, from what okay. I read. It's, uh, sorry, this one is with uh, uh, Michael Douglas and uh, the very nice uh, Alan Arkin. Uh, it's the second season or third season, I think second season. Uh, then you have a show that is very highly rated and I didn't watch uh, Insecure. With the, mm -hmm. the actress that plays in a lot of uh, up and coming movies now, I forgot her name, but uh, the marvelous Miss Maisel, uh, Shit's Creek, What We Do in the Shadows. I also heard a lot about that. Uh, the Good Place, Dead to Me, uh, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yes. Where did you see, boss? The Good Place. The Good Place, nice. What is it about? Uh, the Good Place, yeah. What is it about? It's about uh, someone that wants. There's someone that dies and they get into, I have to, because it's been a, been a while, but they get into uh, heaven or they think it's it's heaven. Uh, yeah, how do I describe this series easily? <laughs> it's, it's, well, they get into 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 heaven. They got, uh, what's his name? Ted, Ted, Ted Danza. 
uh, actor, he plays sort of a god kind of... Oh, with the white hair, no? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, sort yeah, of a god kind of uh, figure. But it turns out that the good place is not really the good place. And there's a whole okay. uh, architect person <laughs> behind it. And it's about, it's it's about <laughs> <No>. scoring <laughs> scoring bonus points and good points. And it's a game. It's, 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 not, it's not really a game. They really go to, to heaven. But yeah. the whole concept is... is uh, I, I find it brilliant. brilliant. It's a highly okay. original. It's a re- highly original um, series, and I think I watched the last season, but not the whole one, maybe yet, because they published it episode by episode on Netflix. Okay, and it, mm-hmm. so at some point I got lost, I think a bit. So we have to uh, still finish it. But nice. uh, and I think the last season wasn't as good as the first ones. But if you haven't seen it, definitely watch mm-hmm. the first season, uh, especially because it's it's, it's, it's really Netflix really or? funny. Uh, yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, it's really yeah, funny. Great. Yeah. Okay, um, well, did you see anything else? No, that, that was it. What, which one did you see? I mean, Anna saw the Kaminsky method, mm-hmm. uh, which we liked because yeah, Michael Douglas right. is, is uh, Michael Douglas is a, 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 a um, once Hello, famous man. <laughs> yeah once famous actor that started. Uh, he didn't get the, the big role, so he started uh, the acting school, and he's one of he's uh, apparently very good at that, and he's dealing with age. Uh, his and he's best also a player. Is... He likes uh, uh, having women younger yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. in the end, he wants to settle a bit and okay. yeah. No, then you have like thing uh, of trying to to cope with the age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. with the fact that you're also famous somehow, yeah. you are. And yeah, it's it's super nice. And his best friend, that it's an old man, also that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was also the, the other act- actor was also famous, right or not? Ellen Arkin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the funny thing is, so he's like, so yeah, exactly what, what Anna says is perfectly put. Like, he's this like bit of a player guy. Then uh, uh, he sees his best friend, who's like a very classy guy. Uh, he's this huge, rich, uh, 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 I think, uh, director or owner yes, of an agency company. Yes, yeah. And uh, his wife passes away. Uh, and and they both, yeah, they deal with age, with, with, with death, with... And one is more classic than the other. Yeah, they, they deal with really sad lessons. stuff, actually, yeah, that yeah, yeah. They, they have to deal at this age. And I also told my mom, for instance, to watch it. And she said, yeah, but this is too sad. Yeah. But in a, in a way, it's also uh, nice to see it, how they deal with it. Like, yeah, okay. They ha- go through a lot of sad stuff, but in a more relaxed, funny yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, more... yeah. it's nice. Yeah. yeah, so I think uh, based on what I read in the news the last couple of months I think Insecure will win the Emmy because apparently okay. it's a very good show uh, but so you only also only saw one of these uh, categories yeah, we, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw one part of an episode of Death to Me which I didn't like at all okay <laughs> my style it's uh, yeah it's difficult with comedy eh? I also yeah, saw, after really see comedies I feel like yeah not really my style though it's I often with comedies also that you have to give it a bit of chance because also, yeah uh, I think like when I saw the first time Modern Family or How I Met Your Mother uh, for example, I was also not right away yeah. in it, but no. uh, it sometimes well, takes a bit. Like, we, we, uh, we tried not to watch we watched one episode of Modern Family because we never saw a full one, and yeah, I don't think we're hooked. It's hard right? to get. get I, I, I'm, right. I'm now in season 10. I'm, uh, I'm almost yeah, to the end. Know? Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard for me to get used to with the fact how it's filmed, first of all. Yeah. 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 Because it's filmed like I film it. And yeah, I was, yeah, but but that's the, <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the style, of course, that they choose, and maybe by, by yeah. now it already got a bit outdated. That that that, that could be, of course, because this, I don't know, uh, ten years ago it started, and now it's season ten, yeah, maybe, and then yeah. it was quite new and refreshing that they had this bit like documentary kind of. It is feel. refreshing still, I think. I feel that that vibe. I also like the actors, all of them. Uh, uh, yeah. um, they're all funny, I think. But I just, yeah, I don't know. Yes, it's, for I, me, like. Uh, exactly what you said, Boss. Like, uh, for instance, I always saw parts of episodes of the Big Bang Theory on, on Comedy Central. Yes. I never wanted to watch it. I always thought that no, was a stupid yeah. show. Yeah. And Anna convinced me to watch it, and I really, yeah. really, really, really appreciated it. I you need it with comedy. Uh, you need, for some reason, we always yeah. think, I think, that with comedy, you right away where you have to be in it, and the jokes work or they don't work. But for some yeah. reason, you have to first attach to the characters, get a bit yeah, used to the comedy yeah, yeah, yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah. 
to really uh, get why it's why it's funny. And sometimes, of course, it can still be not your style. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I also often found that yeah, with Big Bang, with How I Met Your Mother, uh, it's f- funny. Yeah, How I Met Your Mother. I I I never never got to that that part. No, okay. Yeah. No, no, no. And now I'm trying to convince him to watch Two and a Half Men, but no. Oh yeah, it's also very funny. Yeah. It's good. It, it is yeah, funny, yeah, but but yeah. somehow yeah, I also don't. Yeah, maybe I should try better. Yeah. It's right. <laughs> maybe also How I Met Your Mother. Maybe also I would like it more. It's, not yeah. like I don't like it. It's just yeah, I didn't feel like it, you know. No, no, no. no. That's funny. So, um, yeah, we don't know the other one. So uh, <laughs> let's see if my prediction of insecure will hold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, we'll move which on is to based you. on uh, which is mostly based on the internet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. And knowing this, this, this main actress is is like really up and coming. So yeah. uh, uh, let me mention her name because otherwise I look like an idiot. Uh, one second. Uh, oh, people, Ray, of people course, already figured out Kun. Yeah. No, Isa Ray. Isa Ray is very up and coming. We saw uh, recently a very nice movie that we did, we discussed last time, when we, uh, a couple of episodes ago. Yeah. Uh, with the famous uh, Indian or Pakistani actor, um, yeah. where they have to solve a murder, which is also very fun. So oh, yeah. yeah, and I remember it. So um, then we have something which we saw at least all of us won, and I think that one will win as well. Uh, outstanding limited series. Series. Yeah. Um, so you have little fires everywhere. No clue. Uh, a big one now that I still have to watch because it's on Amazon now that we have it's uh, Mrs. America which is with uh, Kate Blanchett it's apparently a very good show uh, Unbelievable uh, Unorthodox cool. which I think should win it already uh, and Watchmen which I still have to watch more than one episode so I it's, don't know uh, I think it's not a given here because I, I also watch I watched Unorthodox and I, want, I watched uh, Unbelievable okay uh, but oh, watch. No, it's also unbelievable about the girl that wasn't believed that she was very good, also. Uh, very yeah, good. also good. It's also Though good. I, I do think that Unorthodox is a bit better and more original, but uh, Unbelievable de- deserves its its nomination. But Watchmen, I really have that high on my list because it's getting yeah. a, a lot of good good praise also and uh, yeah. for being very original, also. So I think it's also, from what I hear, a good contestant. But do do we miss do we, don't we miss one? Are you thinking of something? Or am I right wrong with the year? Don't we miss Chernobyl? I think that's that's another year, yeah. That's last year, no? Yeah. I think that falls on the other the other category. This is yes, uh, I think yeah, yeah. That's By the way, while while you look, uh, Miss yeah. America, you you name Kate Blanchett. I uh, I watched coincidentally uh, yesterday a movie with 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 Kate Blanchett named The Clock in the Walls. Did you ever see it? Sounds familiar. Yeah, it's it's based on a book, The Clock in the Walls. It's with Jack Black and Kate Blanchett, and it's a bit of a child side. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. F, yeah, it's somewhat entertaining. It was okay. Uh, it's not. Oh my uh, god! Uh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> not freaked already. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect it. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> so no. By the way, uh, no, no. Uh, Chernobyl won, of course, the the Emmy last year for this uh, this uh, category. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I was wrong. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's. But if you would predict from this five, we we, we all didn't see little fires everywhere. Nee. In America, I only saw the trailer, which was uh, promising. Uh, I can only I can only base myself on what I've seen. So then yeah, I go for we saw, unorthodox. We saw also, I also saw watch yeah. unorthodox, unbelievable. What would you go for, Bas? Unorthodox. Uh, Anna. I only saw an orthodox. <laughs> oh, you go for an orthodox then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I would say, um, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, the story and, and the acting of this actress is, is, is phenomenal. But yeah. so I, I, I do believe they deserve it. Uh, also compared to the other ones. But I think Unbelievable, not only the young girls very good, but I really liked both of the, the actresses that were the, 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 the detectives. Yeah, uh, yeah, especially the 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 new the new actress that I, I haven't seen in any movie, yeah. uh, and and also the um, the British actress that I only saw in in, in simple uh, chick flicks or whatever. Yeah, uh, she was very impressive. So the the combination that was very good. The the the, the uh, how do you say this? The correlation between the, between the two. The chemistry was very good. Yeah, so, chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. So let's say we all go for an orthodox, and and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Um, we have then something that is always a bit weird for me to to uh, kind of get to hear is the outstanding television movie. Yes. Um, then we have uh, Bad Education with uh, John Hamm and uh, I think it was Cameron Diaz. No, sorry, mm-hmm. no, no, John Hamm. And uh, then we have American Son. 
which was a very scary trailer. It was uh, a couple that their son gets missing and the police comes, but they don't believe him. So it was a very weird story, I remember. We have Dolly Parton's Heartstring Season 1. Mm-hmm. How's it a TV movie with Season 1? But okay. Uh, we have El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, which I have no clue why it gets good ratings, even as a Breaking Bad fan, but mm-hmm. it's something else. Uh, and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Kimmy versus the Reverend. Okay, that sounds very right. good. <laughs> I don't know any of them. Me I neither. Seen, I have seen only El Camino, I didn't like it at all. So Okay, let's, uh, let, let's go on to the next category then. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so let's, let's take, no so this point. is the four uh, main categories. Let's do only one male and one women uh, to see what we think, because there are more shows that we saw. So let's only take one, two more categories pretty really fast. Outstanding lead actress in drama series. So we have uh, uh, Olivia Colman that plays uh, the Queen in The Crown. We have Zendaya, uh, the girls from Spider-Man yeah. that plays in Euphoria. I haven't seen the show. Yeah, I feel we have about it. Yeah. We have Jodie Comer in Killing Eve. That's a show that everybody talks about, but I haven't seen. And of course, Sandra Oh, also from Killing Eve. She won already, I think, twice the Emmy for this uh, role. Uh, Jennifer Anderson in The Morning Show, which I yeah. think we all three watch now. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. oh no, you didn't watch it. Didn't watch it. Yeah. Uh, and Laura Linney, which is an actress that I always find so good that I don't like her, which is a compliment, mm-hmm. uh, in Ozark. Okay. Based on what you saw yourself and maybe the rumors, what would you guess? Who would win that? I, I haven't seen them in, in uh, their series. So you haven't seen uh, Killing Eve, Euphoria, The Crown, and Morning Show in Ozark? No. Oh. <laughs> The bus this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but you've seen uh, what's the movie that you want to bring review? I'm going to review booth. in a bit. I'm going to k- review the Kissing Booth 1 and I'm going to review the Kissing Booth 2. Please, please who, comment in below what you think. B- you by the way, who uh, uh, has the lead role, Joey King, who was nominated last year for, for Emmy, oh. and the other, one of the lead guys, yeah. who plays in this series Euphoria with oh. the Zendaya girl. And okay, apparently, cool. I also heard it's a good, it's a good, a good movie. Okay. So, uh, but uh, that uh, little uh, teaser for my uh, Kissing Booth review later on. On. But no, I can't say anything about this. Okay. I, 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 move on then to <laughs> Anna. Anna, you saw some of them. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. In a way, I think uh, on one side also Jennifer Aniston deserves it because she she's a know. comedy actress most of the times, and now she's in a serious yeah, finally movie. a drama series. Yeah, and she's good. We never mm-hmm. saw her like that, and and was pretty good. I think she she deserves it. Yeah. But no, also uh, um, the 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 queen. <laughs> yeah, I think the acting yeah. of Olivia yeah. Colman is more impressive than the crown. No. Hmm. Okay, so you both go for Olivia Colman. Yeah, I'm half half because okay. I'm just thinking like, okay, she did this. Uh, she got already now a, a prize now for uh, an Emmy. Uh, she won an Oscar. Yeah. She won an Oscar for an the Oscar. favorite. Yeah. Okay, so she's already there. Yeah, but that's that's not how it goes, of course. <laughs> yeah, but it goes like, yeah. She'll be for the best one. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, I don't know. No. Fifty-fifty. Yeah, you you could live with yeah, either choice. Yeah. Because I yeah. think she deserves it, but also on the other side, uh, Jennifer Aston. She did a great job, so she went yeah. really high yeah. up yeah. there yeah. than we yeah. ever yeah. saw her. Yeah. So yeah. I think she's also deserving it. Reasoning. Yeah. Kuhn? Uh, yeah, I think Oliver, Olivia Coleman. Yeah. So I just think her acting is more impressive. Um, I think we should skip the man because I don't think you saw any of so. the shows. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no point, I think. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, maybe, maybe next time, Kuhn, if you have like the Nickelodeon uh, Kids Awards. <laughs> yeah. The Kissing Booth Awards, exactly. <laughs> then no, I uh, really want to join in. For most of them, but, uh, <laughs> no, I would, say, I would say one thing. I really think, uh, uh, I haven't watched two of them, but I think from the five nominations for Arsenal, I was in the limited series, I think the girl, Sheila Haas from Arnold Dogs, yeah. really deserves this boost in yeah. her career because it was... I think a phenomenal job. And I very think good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Very impressive. Definitely. She and it's it's like she she like took the whole show herself and just made it something like so special. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. 
uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, talk and discuss with us in the comments. We mostly react to, 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 to everything. Uh, so like the video if you liked it, of course. And if you're not subscribed yet, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button yes. and help us grow the channel. Uh, that was it. Uh, Kun, hasta la vista. And, uh, hasta la vista. See you next See time. See you next week. Ciao.